Okay, so this video is in a series of videos where we are proving the uh, fundamental theorem of finite abelian groups, and we only need to prove the last step, lemma 4. So suppose G is a finite abelian group of prime power, order. If G equals H1 times H2, direct product times Hn, and G equals direct product of K1, K2, Kn, where all these H's and all these K's are non-trivial cyclic subgroups with this chain, okay, where H has this chain and K has this chain, then M equals N, and the order of HI equals the order of KI for all I. So in this video, we provide a proof for this. So first we pick the order of G, okay, and um, we are going to use induction, okay. So um, if the order of G is P, right, where P is prime, so this is true, that would be finished, okay. Um, okay. So, for G, order P is OK. So now, let us see what um, happens for the, um, the abelian groups of order, where the, the order is less than the order of G. So let us name that famous group, OK, or oh, any, any abelian group that has order less than G. Okay, so it will be L, okay, let us say P, right, where X to the power of P prime, where X is in L, okay? So this one will be a subgroup of L, okay? So L, P, I'm going to call it this way, LP will be a subgroup of L, okay? And L is a group with order less than the order of G, and G is a group with order P. Okay, so this is easy to check that uh, LP is a subgroup of L. Okay, this is a, 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 a quick exercise. Okay. So, um, G, P is, so G, P will be <coughs> the direct product of H1, P times H2, P times, etc., H, M, P, and G, P will be equal to the direct product of all these case. Okay, so, uh, where... This is M, okay, so this is the biggest one of the M's, okay, and uh, where did I stop here? I have to stop somewhere here. Okay, on the case, I stopped on N, okay. Okay, but we have to be, to, to be sure of something here. We have to be sure that this M here, I have to be sure that this M um, is, so the order of HI, the order of HI, HI has to be bigger than P. Okay, so M will be the, the biggest I where this happens. Okay, and the same for this n. We have to make sure that this n is the largest integer j, where the same happens for k. kj, the order of kj, has to be bigger than p. Okay, so n will be the bigger j, and m will be the bigger i. Because this is to make sure 
that our two direct products of GP do not have trivial factors, okay? Because if they have trivial factors, that uh, destroys our proof, okay? Okay, so the order of GP will be smaller than the order of G, okay? So using induction, uh, because we start here in P, okay, so using in, now using induction, uh, we say that M is equal than N, just using induc induction, okay? So that implies that H of P, the order of H of P i, this one, will be equal to the order of K uh, i P. Okay, for i equals 1, etc. We are using induction, okay, so we stop at m. Okay, okay, so the order of hi is equal to p times the order of hpi. Okay, so this proves that hi the order of hi is equal to the order of ki, okay, for all i equals 1 till the last m. Okay, so we only have to prove now that the number of hi's here, we only have to prove this now, of order p, we have to, to see all hi's of order p is equal to the k i's of order p, okay? So we will have m minus m equals n minus n. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to change something here in the proof because g, by hypothesis, g is equal to the direct product of the cyclic um, groups so till m and then k to the power of n okay so here i'm going to change this uh, because i have to make a distinction here so i'm sorry but i have to say that this is um, m prime and this is n prime okay then m prime equals n prime. Okay, so g p will be equal to this h p m prime k p n prime. Okay, so here this is m prime and this is n prime. So m prime equals n prime here according to the proof. Just check the video, please. So I have to say here that m minus m prime equals n minus n prime, okay? Because we just saw that n prime is equal to m prime. So the order of h1, h2, etc. times p to the power of m minus m prime equals the order of g and that is equal to the order of k1 times k2, etc., to p to the power of n minus n prime. Okay, so the order of hi is equal to the order of ki, okay? And m prime is going to be equal to n prime, okay? And this concludes the lemma and concludes the, the proof for the theorem.